Hi, and welcome to Creative Chelsea. Today I'd like to share with you a new product from the January to June 2020 mini catalog from Stampin' Up. So it's this Under My Umbrella stamp set, and this is a really fun stamp set for spring. And then it has a coordinating punch, which will cut out this large umbrella and the almost closed one, and then the handle. So we're gonna be making this really cute card. So let's get started. So one of the first things we need to do is this background water coloring so that it can dry and so then we can stamp on it. And I'm using Pool Party. And I've got an aqua painter and if you've watched a lot of my videos, you know how much I love the aqua painter. I've placed some ink in the lid of my um, ink pad and then you're just gonna squeeze a little bit of water into that ink. And you can get ink in here by dropping with your refill or pressing the ink pad together like this. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pressing that. And that will put some ink in that lid. So you're just gonna pick up some color, get a lot of water, and then just lay down a wash. Now I'm not using watercolor paper, I'm just using regular Whisper White. And so you don't want to go over it too many times because it does tend to um, kind of buckle and warp a little bit. So just, just lay down some color. So that's kind of light. Um, my original one is a little darker, so you can kind of decide how you want to do it. And then to clean your brush, you just squeeze on some scrap paper and until it runs clear. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside and let it dry. You can see how it's kind of warping the paper already, but that's okay because we're just gonna stamp on top of it with some of these cute little raindrops. So we'll be fine. So while that is drying, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stamp these images. And we're doing um, some stamping on solid paper as well as some on a white paper and then coloring in. So, and it's all going to be stamped with white craft ink and then we're embossing it with white embossing powder. I've got my paper piercing mat. I'm gonna place that underneath my papers and then I'm going to use the embossing buddy and that's just to keep the static from my paper so that the um, embossing powder doesn't stick, excuse me. So I'm just gonna put that on all my paper. All right, so let's start with the boots. So I'm just inking it up with the craft ink and then I'm just gonna stamp it. And then I've got my powder in my tray already because I've used it recently. And then I'm just scooping and laying on a layer of powder on those boots. And then I'm gonna set this aside and heat them all together. So let's do the greeting next. And then the umbrella. And then the flowers. Now the flowers we're doing on white and then we're going to watercolor those, the colors we want. Oh, and I placed them in such a way that they won't all fit. I'm going to line them up so that they'll fit on my strip. Okay. So ink them and then stamp them. And white is always hard to see on white. So just kind of do your best, kind of move it around so that you can see the ink. And then it's, I don't know if you can tell, but 
we do have some images there with some powder. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my heat emboss tool and I'm going to heat these up. So you just turn it on and heat it up until you get a shiny um, surface and you'll see it go from matte to shiny. And, I'm, and um, you can heat from the bottom or from the top. Okay, so that's all done. So now I'm gonna watercolor my flowers. And I'm doing that first so that I can, they can dry before I cut them out. So I'm going to be using crushed curry and old olive and my aqua painter again. So I'm gonna start with the crushed curry. And I'm gonna get some of that color. And I'm just putting it on all the flowers. And it's okay if it comes out a little bit. So we do want it actually to come outside the edge a little bit. And these ones I'm going to do a little lighter so you can get a, get a lighter color if you use more water. Okay, and then clean your brush. And then pick up some green. And you're going to just go into those leaves the area where the leaves are. Okay. I'll show you that close up so you can see how it's really fast and really quick way to get color in your images. So we're going to go ahead and put this to the side and let it dry. Now we can punch our imagery. So we're just going to slide it in, line it up, punch it out. So we got that. And then we do need to fussy cut out our boots. These aren't too bad since a lot of it is just straight lines. Okay, boots are done, and our flowers are finishing up, drying, and our circle. So I've got an old punch that is one and three eighths, but you could use any circle um, die or punch that you have. So this kind of fits it perfectly. Um, and then we're going to grab our background paper that we watercolored on and we're going to stamp. And we're going to use Pool Party and we're stamping our raindrops. So we'll need to go grab those from the stamp set. And the raindrops are on the small side. And so you do have to do, you do have to repeat them. So just kind of randomly, so they don't need to fill your paper. You're just kind of wanting some random raindrops falling. Grab some scrap paper. And so I'm gonna go off the edge a little bit over here. Okay, 
I'm good with that. All right, so we can probably start assembling where those flowers finish um, drying. So what I've got, I've got some creme cake as my card base, and I've got some designer series paper, and this comes from the Peaceful Poppies designer series paper pack that's in the new mini catalog as well. And what I wanted was I wanted a pool party color. The reason why I picked it, that kind of felt like it was um, helping the rain fall. So that's why we went with this imagery. But if you wanted and didn't have this, you could just use a um, piece of pool party cardstock to get the same effect. So I'm just going to add this to the center of my card. Just kind of eyeball it. It's a little bigger than a half inch. And then we've got a piece of Black Blackberry Bliss cardstock. And all the dimensions for the paper um, is listed in the descriptions below. The description below. And you can also visit my blog for um, detailed instructions on how to make this card. So I've got some dimensionals that I'm cutting up so I can use every last part of the dimensionals. Okay, so this goes on next. And it just leaves a little border at the top and bottom. And then the, we do need another piece punched from this punch, and it's just a piece of card crumb cake cardstock, and it's the handle. And I didn't stamp on it because it's kind of hidden anyway behind all the images. So I'm going to put down my boots first because they're just glued right on. And they just go in this bottom left corner. And then my handle gets put on, and I'm going to use glue dots for that. And I've got my pickup tool, and this is just the easiest thing to use when using glue dots like this. So these glue dots come from my paper pumpkin pack. I just have lots of them. And so I use them more than I use the ones I can buy in the um, catalog, but those come on a roll, so they're a little easier to use. So this I'm just going to, I'm actually going to place this a little bit behind these boots. Kind of lift up that edge slightly, if I can. There. And then my umbrella gets laid down and nothing's popped up except for the greeting. But you can put dimensionals on things as you want if you wanted. All right, let's check our flowers. They look like they could be done. So we're just going to fussy cut these guys out. So I'm going to speed this up. All right, so I've finished that, and you can see that I've left a pretty good sized border around the edge. And the reason for that is because I want to be able to see that edge of that white flower. If I had cut right up to that edge, I wouldn't see that as well because I want it, and you need that contrast from the color of the ink and the white of the embossing powder. So um, this can be a really quick and easy fussy cut. You don't need to really 
get detailed with these. Okay, and then these are just applied with some snail as well, or glue dots. And these ones kind of look like they're spilling out of the boots, so you can kind of tuck those behind. And then we're going to kind of gauge where we want to put our greeting. And this one kind of goes behind it. And then these guys actually go on the greeting. Just down here in the corner. So before we add our greeting, we need to add some um, silver metallic thread on the back. And I've just done that by wrapping it around my hand just to get the length that I want. So I usually do that about five times. And then I'm just kind of messing up that, well, I'm just going to have to do it by hand. So I've got the length I want, and then you just kind of have to wrap it and adhere it. And you need to, you kind of need to do it kind of randomly, and it's sometimes hard to be random, but you want those loops to kind of form a circle. Um, so sometimes they can be bigger and sometimes they can be smaller, but you just, you want them to kind of, um, when they all come together, look like they're part of a circle. So, it can be kind of tricky, so just kind of play with it. Um, it's supposed to look messy, so don't get too frustrated with it so just keep adding to it i think the more um you you add kind of the better it looks so because if you just started and didn't finish it could get like if you don't give it a chance it could kind of look bad all right so that's what i've got and then I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back. And this pops it up as well as kind of keeps that um, metallic thread on, on it so it doesn't like pull off. All right, so then it kind of goes in that area under those flowers. And there we go. So there is our card. It's really cute. It's got some really fun colors. I like those deep colors of the Blackberry Bliss, the Clipsal Coral, and the, um, what is that, Mossy Meadow? Along with that brightness of the Crushed Curry from the yellow. It's just a really fun card. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Visit creativechelsea.com for a free tutorial of this project and to purchase the supplies needed. Have a creative day. Bye.